Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So I'm talking about the Megsy and the Harry yet again and it seems as though Harry is having great regrets about leaving the royal family and exiting the firm the way he did. Now during a call with a few rugby players he actually admitted and this was yesterday that if it wasn't for Covid he would have been back home by now. He would have been in England at least to visit and I don't think that he was solely talking about going to see a rugby match or going to enjoy this sport that he's very passionate about. I think he was making references also to his relationship with his family. He did expand a lot upon his feelings and thoughts and opinions on family and unity and being together and being united. And it all seemed as though he was having some kind of nostalgic moment or regret over what he had done and ditching his family. So in the publication by The Express, it is titled Prince Harry Makes Surprise Admission About UK Return Would Have Been Back Already. So I think that there is a desperation on Harry's part to come home. And what I did notice is that he looked quite drained and bedraggled in this call. He seems to have lost a hell of a lot of weight. I don't know what health kick diet Meghan has him on, but he seems to be quite hungry and gaunt in appearance. If you actually look at his collarbone in the video, he looks quite drained and tired. So I'm going to read from the article. Prince Harry has admitted he would be back to the UK if it had not been for the pandemic crisis. Harry, who is starting a new life in the US with Meghan Markle after quitting royal duties earlier this year, was speaking during a video call with players from the Rugby Football League. He admitted that he would have already been back to Britain for a visit if it had not been for the pandemic. He added that he plans to make an appearance in the UK in 2021 for the Rugby League World Cup. He said, we've got a whole Rugby League World Cup next year. I definitely plan on coming back. I would have been back already had it not been for the pandemic. Harry is patron of the Rugby Football League and he surprised players with the video call to help celebrate the sport's 125th birthday on Saturday. He seemed very reminiscent. He seemed quite sad and he looked, as I said earlier, quite regretful. He's very lean, as I said, in appearance. And he did really look as though he was directly trying to convey a message to his family that he still very much loves them and he's sorry. I think in so many words, Harry wants to admit that he is sorry for what he's done because I think life in America isn't as they plan for it to be. I think it's been a big struggle, especially with the pandemic, the COVID. It's been a battle, a battle for us all globally. There's been yet again another shooting of a black man in the USA and they're out there, they're in the thick of it. To my knowledge, that happened in Wisconsin. And so a lot is going on and there are a lot of issues being stoked up. The fire's being stoked up daily out in the USA. And we know that Meghan and Harry left Britain on the premise that we were racist, we were prejudiced, we were bigoted. And as I said, I'm a black woman, I'm a black British woman. I don't think the UK is half as bad as what they have made it out to be. I'm going to continue on a little bit more and as you can see in the pictures that I've added he looks kind of depressed if you ask me. So they carry on to say he led the group in a quiz and they discussed what the game means to them. He said it can bring so many families together, bring so many people together and he really emphasised so many people together and we know that Meghan and Harry have had nothing but a divisive effect on not only her family but now his family and the British royal treasured beloved family of England. They haven't done anything but divide people, pull people apart, 
Try and pit black against white. That's what they have done. So he really did emphasize so many people together. It doesn't matter whether you're in the stands, whether you're the groundsman, whether you're a player, whether you're a fan or whether you're a first time watcher. Every single person is bound by this family feeling. So he's saying this family feeling and I think he's definitely being insightful with using these words because he's talked about family a lot he's talked about why he has to use private planes because he has to protect his family he has to keep his family safe he's putting his family first he's leaving the uk because he has to put his wife's well-being and safety first and he likes to band around this family word but i don't know if harry actually understands the true dexterity of what family actually means what does family actually mean family means thinking about everyone in your family not just your immediate family and thinking about the greater good of the family the well-being of your family baby archie as it stands has no family relations that he can relate to now he has plenty of cousins he has william and kate's children that he could interact with he has princess anne's daughter's kids who he could interact with, but he doesn't have that anymore. Family is about passing on traditions and keeping those traditions alive because traditions only die when people stop practicing them. Baby Archie is now having an all-American discombobulated existence and it has absolutely nothing to do with the beautiful family traditions and heritage that he could have. A true English tradition, traditional childhood is something that Baby Archie would benefit from having. That's really caring about your family, ensuring that you give them the best, ensuring that you pass on the best of yourself to your kids. So I don't think he fully understands what it means, but I just feel as though he has this extremely large void and he is now scrambling to put the pieces back together or fill in the holes. I think Harry wants to come back as we all know, Harry has no other real knowledge of what it is to live outside of the real fold. This is his first time really being away from home, really delving into having a new reality. And I think he's realised that there's, there's more to life and more to happiness than just marriage. He has a father. He has a brother. He has a sister-in-law who he was very close to. If you scroll through past images of Harry interacting with Kate, they used to have a laugh and a giggle. And I think he misses all of that. I think he misses the back and forthness with his brother. On the day of Harry's wedding, William seemed chuffed. And as they walked up together, the two glorious brothers in their formal military attire, they look so close, so bonded. And since this union with that woman, she's done nothing but wrench the very essence of what made Prince Harry a part. She's just wrenched him away from who he truly is. And that is quite tragic, really. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex plunged the monarchy into a period of crisis when they shared bombshell plans to step back as senior royals in January. The Queen was forced to hold a summit with Charles, Prince William and Harry. And we know that Meghan skipped out on this when they decided that they wanted to stand back. Meghan couldn't be bothered to even settle the finer details of what it would be to step back from being in the royal fold. She was getting her nails done. She was having her bunions cut off of her feet, having her teeth reduced, having her, I think she had a liquid BBL. I think she had some bit kind of silicone injected into her butt. And she was away with the fairies getting a new weave done. She wasn't bothered or in the slightest concerned about breaking up this beautiful family. So I'm going to carry on here. 
The Sussexes had hoped to continue supporting the monarch while earning their own money, but the plan was deemed unworkable as it would have led to accusations they were cashing in on their royal status, which essentially they still are. They are cashing in on their royal connection. It was later announced they would no longer be working members of the royal family. The Queen's grandson and former actress completed their final engagement in March. It recently emerged that they bought a mansion for £11 million in Celebrity Hotspot Santa Barbara to be their family home with one-year-old son Archie. Earlier this week, Meghan praised Harry's feminism as she spoke to US rights activist Gloria Steinem for the feminist media platform makers. The ex-suit star spoke of how her views on feminism had changed over time. Uh, and th that's as far as I'm going to go with this article. I just find it quite sad. I do think that Harry is desperate to come back. I do think he realises what's gone wrong. And I think he's even struggling with his appetite. He seems to have a very reduced appetite. He seems to not be eating. And this has been a consistent appearance for him throughout the whole of lockdown. He looks withdrawn. He looks quite down. I don't think that's only due to the pandemic. I think that's also due to him not being able to see his father. And we know that Prince Charles also did get struck down with the COVID. So it, he, he hasn't been able to see his father throughout that. He hasn't seen him face to face. And he's lucky that his father's still alive. A lot of people with a father that age do you know they're losing their father they don't have their father anymore so there's regret there and I don't think that Megan's interacting with him that much anyway guys I'll be back for another video bye